Hello guys, welcome to PC Juice, where you find help on how to handle your PC related issues. Today we are going to see how to download and install VirtualBox on a Windows 10 PC. So we head over to our browser and we search for VirtualBox. We choose the first link which takes us to the official website which is virtualbox.org. Once on the official website, simply scroll down to you find download virtualbox 6.1 which is the latest version as of now once on the downloads page you simply choose your operating system any option here that matches your own operating system you choose it but since I'm doing it on a Windows 10 I simply choose a Windows host but if you had OS X or Linux or Solaris you could choose the other options but I'm using Windows I get my Windows option and I save the file for it to download and I in turn use it to install and I hold on for it to download I will continue the few minutes after downloading once your download is complete you simply open the containing folder to start the installation here is our newly downloaded file virtualbox 6.1 so we simply double click to start the installation process. On this first step, we simply click on next for it to start the installation process. Here you do the same, you click next. If you have to customize any features like where it should be installed here is where you do it simply browse to the location and change to what you wished here I simply want the default locations which is this C then program files Oracle virtual box so I simply click on next then here to customize it I can choose to create start menu entries, shortcut on my desktop, shortcut on my launch bar for you. Any of the options which you are not okay with, you can simply uncheck them. But having all these features, it helps you to easily find the application when you want to load it up. So, allowing the defaults everything checked here is recommendable so we simply take next and proceed with the installation you simply take yes and we click on install to install and the install will take a while so you simply have to wait and it completes and when prompted with this user account control notification you simply take yes for it to install the application and after clicking on yes it simply starts the installation process here yeah, i'm being asked to install a driver for my virtual box and the publisher is Oracle Corporation so 
so the file seems to run in line with the virtual box so i'm going to take install so first of all i'm going to uncheck always trust software from this location i simply uncheck it and i click on install Yeah, I do the same. I also allow this one to install. So you can see installing the virtual box, you need an active internet connection. So without an active internet connection, you are surely going to have issues with all those drivers that are being prompted for installation. So here our installation is complete, so I simply click finish and with this checkbox checked, you can see start after installation. So I'm going to finish. So I finish and it starts up. The virtual box now you can see that our virtual box has been successfully installed now we can create our new machines and we can do whatever we wanted to do with the virtual box if you want to add your new machine you can just click on the add button I choose the files so maybe next time we are going to see how to install an operating system using virtual box so that's all for this video thank you for watching and we hope that it was useful and if it helped you wish that may you like subscribe share and recommend to others see you on the next video bye